I'm interested in how the lack of water, too much water, you know, how that's affecting us in terms of all kinds of social agendas, uh, political agendas. And, and while this work isn't clearly about water, that is, uh, as I put the work together, one of my underlining subtexts. In my house in upstate New York, I had an active spring in the basement so that when they laid down the concrete floor, they, they didn't cover up the water. So um, water does what water wants to do. I was in graduate school at Syracuse University and I was um, getting an MFA in uh, media. Specifically, um, I was making documentaries, video documentaries, and I needed a break from making those docs. So I had an independent study with a guy and I have long admired John Hartfield, who was a mid 20th century collage artist uh, that was very active um, during the Second World War. And so I started making paper collages from that. Once I got a computer, I was interested in doing digital work. And so my first real series of digital work on paper was about the genocide in Bosnia. We were not involved in that particular war um, until the Paris peace talks. So I was interested in doing a body of work that directly addressed that kind of uh, genocide. Um, and the work was um, surrounded by text which I had taken from newspaper articles. That was my real beginning with working in digital work on paper, was that particular political situation. Um, since then, I, I, um, I've done a, a couple of different series, um, none quite as political as this, this particular series, because I think the, the issue is paramount. I have lots and lots of paper. So I rip up paper, um, I, I scotch tape it down or um, staple it, and that is the underlining frame for the work. I then scan that into the computer, and then I start to look for images. And I find them every which place. Um, I probably have uh, 10,000 images. Um, and when I'm really stuck, I'll go through most of them to put these pieces together. I have two terabyte, five terabyte external hard drives. I store stuff on floppy. I mean, I have them all over the place. It's a mess. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of visual chaos and then making, organizing cut chaos. Um, and I, I like the idea of not having a plan and having things come to me. This is the first piece that I did with this new series. Um, and in terms of talking about this idea of water, um, I have in the background, very faint kind of primroses. I have what I, would consider a water stain. I have um, sort of ragged edges that imply, you know, it's been out in the environment. Um, and then I have this bird, right, that's actually going someplace. And behind it, I have yet another plant. So uh, the plant, the flowers, and the birds are all sustained by water, right? And and I, I find this to be fairly melancholy because of the color palette and this notion that, um, you know, is this an endangered bird? Are these flowers disappearing in certain parts of certain landscapes because of climate change? And then I included this at the top, which is from a medieval manuscript, right? Because I also like this idea of archaeology with my work. Layers and layers and layers and underpinning and a sense of memory and a sense of history. So when I talk about how I put these together, this is what I started with. So we have one, two, three pieces of paper, and then I would start to add to them. Another piece of paper. Again, this is from an early medieval, mid, mid, medieval uh, uh, manuscript. Then here's the pattern. And I knew that I was getting to where I wanted to go with this. 
this particular plant was my aha, and then I added the bird. One of my problems that in my work that I'm trying to overcome is I have a tendency to overdo it, kind of over decorate, if you will. So one of one of my issues with this body of work is to simplify it and let the audience or the viewer uh, look at the images and develop their own kind of narrative. And it's easier to tell a story if you don't have too much going on. I think there some of these are beautiful, you know, and some of them are melancholy. I'd like people to sort of gravitate towards that kind of feeling. Um, I'd like people to, you know, think about um, not so much climate change, but water. Like, you know, in Florida, are we going to run out of water the way they're doing in other parts of the country? Probably not. But, um, you know, we need to be more cognizant of those kinds of environmental issues. It's not like it's a call to action. I'm asking people to sort of pause, look at the work, and think about it.